Now, your latest headlines and most accurate forecast from 41 Action News. Good morning, I'm 41 Action News anchor Lindsay Shively. Here are your headlines for Thursday, August 13th. One man is dead this morning in Kansas City's 123rd homicide. Police found a man who had been shot around 115 near Independence and Paseo. He died shortly after they got there. Detectives are talking to witnesses and they're trying to figure out who killed him. New weekly unemployment numbers are set to come out this morning, and according to the Kansas Department of Labor, more than 15,000 Kansans filed new unemployment claims last week. That's about 4,000 more than the week before, when more than 11,000 people filed new claims. We're still waiting on the most recent numbers from Missouri, but we do know in the week of August 1st, more than 10,000 Missourians filed new claims. That's down by around 4,000 from the week before, when 14,000 filed. The Kansas City, Missouri City Council will talk budget cuts today. In June, each city department was asked to identify 4.5% of its budget that could be cut because of fallout from the pandemic. Mayor Quentin Lucas says he hopes to save between $50 million and $60 million this year. I'm meteorologist Lindsay Anderson and temperatures today will really heat up. We are back to the middle and upper 80s this afternoon with a blend of sun and clouds and high humidity continues, so it will feel more like the 90s today. There's a few showers lingering in northern Missouri early this morning. The heavy rain and thunderstorm activity staying across central and eastern Kansas, but we'll likely miss our area and tomorrow we're staying dry, sunny and muggy a high of 88. Then the change will arrive Saturday. A cold front is going to move in. We'll have an isolated chance for a few showers and storms along that cold front, and then eventually cooler air will travel in Sunday into early next week. You can get the latest news and weather anytime at KSHB.com.